Hi and welcome to your whole bag of tricks. Today we are going to see the steps involved in teaching your kids clock or time reading. First, make the kid understand what each line and the numbers inside the clock's face represent. Each line means the minutes. The kid has to either use the fifth table or write down each number manually. Like 1 2 3 4 5. Our best way is to teach them the fifth table so that 1 is 5, 2 is 10, 3 is 15. They can say it without even writing it down. Once this step is over, teach them that these small numbers inside the clock's face is the hour. And the small lines and the numbers they have written outside the clock's face is the minutes. Now use two sticks. One should be long enough to touch the minutes value outside, written outside the clock's face. The hour's hand should be short enough to touch the numbers inside the clock's face. Initially, tell your kid that it is a game of matching. As the first step, give your kid a sheet with the time written on it. You can either say it out or write it down in a sheet of paper. The best thing is to write down in a sheet of paper. Use the same format, hours, a colon and then the minutes. The kid has to understand that the number that comes before the colon is the hour and this number should be pointed by this shorter stick. And the number that comes after the colon is the minutes and that should be pointed with the longer stick to the number written outside the clock's face. This is the first step. Let your kid get familiarized with this as much as possible. Give them as many times as possible and make them understand the concept. Even if they think that it's a matching game, it's fine. Now, you tell your kid that it is a game of matching. The kid has to match the number that the short ha- shorthand is pointing. Write it down in the hours section. Let them get familiarized with the hours first. Do not change the minutes hand. Every time you move the stick, ask your kid to write down the time. Again, specify that this daughter and a stick is a hour and it should come first and the longest stick number is the minutes that should come after the column. Once they have got it right, now start moving the minutes hand. Initially move it to each value like from 5, 10, 15 and keep the hours hand as such. So it will be 6, 5, 6, 10, 6, 15 and so on. They can either use the fifth table or count it. It's up to your kid. Let them choose, select or write down each number each time as you change the minutes hand. Now go for random minutes but keep it within the fifth table. Do not go for 23 or 44 minutes. Uh, Keep it on the fifth table like 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on. Again ask your kid to take it as a matching game. Let it be a game for them at this stage. Now make sure to repeat this step until your kid is able to see the numbers on the clock face and uh, calculate the minutes based on the numbers. If the uh, minutes hand is near 8, 8 into 5 is 40. So it's 40 minutes. If your kid is able to do like this, your kid is ready for the next step. Now make the kid write down each minute value from 00 to 59 outside the circle, outside the clock's face. This will help them visually understand what 23 means. It means from the 20 minutes, that is from the 4, he has to add 3 more minutes. Do not go into as, do not tease them as addition. Right now, tease them that if it's 23, the uh, minutes hand should fall between 20 and 25. So from 20, count until gets to 23 so 21 22 23 in the same manner while reading the clock's hand if the minute hand is somewhere between 8 or 9 the 8 is 40 and from there the kid has to count the remaining lines